Manchester United 4-1 win over CSK in Moscow. Really pleased with that. We've changed a few players to the starting lineup tonight. We've seen Lindelof and Bay and Small in play at the back. Three centre halves, and then you've got your wing backs of Blind and Ashley Young. So Manchester United have changed it up a bit there. They've had to bring Ander Herrera in as well. Marlon Flaney is injured tonight, so he couldn't play. And Phil Jones was also injured, so couldn't play. Valencia was rested. Michael Carrick was injured as well, so he couldn't feature at all. And Manchester United also had a few youngsters on the bench. Scott McTominay and Axel Tuanzebi were also on the bench. Unfortunately, neither of them featured this evening. But Anthony Martial started in place of Marcus Rashford. Mkhitaryan also up front on the, on the wide area. And Romelu Lukaku in the striking position. Romelu Lukaku getting the first goal from Anthony Martial. Assist in the fourth minute. And Manchester United never looked back after that. We were absolutely dominant in that first half. Jesus Christ, that was one as one-sided first half. Well, game has been very dominant for Manchester United. The only kick in the nuts from this game was letting that goal in right at the end from David De Gea. That was the only kick in the nuts. Besides that, the, the game was so easy. Manchester United could have got the second through Mkhitaryan. But Mkhitaryan's shot was fantastically saved from the legs of their goalkeeper. Manchester United eventually got the second. Some people thought a bit of a soft penalty, but I don't give a shit. Anthony Martial dispatching the penalty. And then Romelu Lukaku getting another tap in from an Anthony Martial assist again. <laughs> Jesus. And then Anthony Martial getting another assist in the second half. So... Manchester United, completely dominant. Three assists from Martial. A goal from Martial from the penalty spot. Okay, it was only a penalty, but he, that, that gives him bags of confidence going into the next game. And there was one fantastic run in that second half from Anthony Martial. Really fantastic. When he's running at defenders, really looks a great, such a great talent for Manchester United. Romelu Lukaku could have got his hat-trick. Had, had some great saves from the, their goalkeeper. Their goalkeeper played well, which Jesse Lingard having one saved well by the goalkeeper. Then Darwin having one saved well from the goalkeeper as well. So Manchester United could have scored a hatful of goals, but Martial really causing them problems. Three assists and a goal. For me, I'm giving him man of the match. Romelu Lukaku, though, getting two goals as well. He's got so many goals this season. How many is he going to score this season? Can't stop scoring at the moment. And we head on to Crystal Palace in that next game. So could potentially get another goal or two in that because they're not doing too clever at this moment in time. So we will have to wait and see. What, what happens in that game, but they're, they're not doing so well in the in the Premier League at the moment, our Crystal Palace, but sooner or later, they're going to have to turn it around. Sooner or later, they are going to score a goal. Could that potentially be against Manchester United? As long as Manchester United win, that would be the main thing, but we're, we've seen second half, Manchester United have really cruised to that victory, which we've never really had to get out of second gear at all in that second half, which was nice to see. It's just a shame that we couldn't see maybe Scott McTominay or well, come on in that second half just to just to see the game out, bring off one of the more experienced the Matiages or someone that potentially could be a loss to Manchester United if he gets injured. It was reports that he had a knock after that game against Southampton, and we do not want him to get injured. So that was a bit of a risk for me keeping him on when Manchester United were absolutely cruising along with Romelu Lukaku. I mean, we brought Lingard and, and Rashford on and Darmian. I can see why Darmian come on, but Rashford really? Do we really need to bring Rashford on? On in the, on a game like this, when with cruising, Lingard hasn't got so many minutes this season, so he could have done with them, but could have brought someone else on him instead of Rashford for me because didn't really need to bring him on. He could have a rest and get ready for the game against Crystal Palace on Saturday. So let me know your thoughts on the game. We've got six points out of six. The next is two teams on three points. So if Manchester United win the next game against Benfica. We will be on maximum points and hopefully the other game could end a draw. And Manchester United will basically almost be qualified. This isn't exactly the best of groups considering Basel absolutely annihilated Benfica this evening. It's, it's turning out to be a bit of a Mickey Mouse group. Hopefully though Manchester United can prove that and it doesn't prove to be uh, stupid for me saying that. But it is, it is proving to be a fairly easy group for Manchester United. I mean we did expect Manchester United to get through it but I didn't expect us to... To score quite so many goals in these first two games and the other teams to look qu quite so poor but it's all about winning these games just to get through and to get them last couple of games dead rubbers you just want to get it out of the way as quick as possible for me you don't want to be fart arsing around the last couple of games trying to run results going your other way like we did under Louis Van Gaal and end up potentially having to 
to win our last game and 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 to qualify as maybe runners up or as group winners you don't want that you want to get it done before that last game anyway like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll talk to you all again soon